ticket bitter? What? But there were no ticket barriers. It took me a while to realize that public transport in Germany was not, in fact, free. When I first moved here, I was pretty overwhelmed by the whole system. Do I take the underground, the subway, the tram, the bus, or even the ferry, or a combination of all of them? How does public transport in Germany actually work, and how important is it for daily life here? Well, let's find out. Germany is definitely more famous for its cars than its public transport. Mercedes, BMW or Porsche are all globally popular German car brands. But the number of people using public transport here is rapidly increasing, especially in cities. Alright, let's jump in with a brief explanation about how the public transport system here actually works. We have a subway system, an underground system and trams and buses that drive on the street. They differ in speed and rail network. The lack of ticket barriers here is confusing. It's a system of trust, but don't be a fool. Inspectors do occasionally walk around the trains to make sure that you've got a ticket, and it's a 60 euro fine if you don't, so not worth it. You can buy tickets through an app on your phone or in most stations around the city because there are ticket machines everywhere. It's different depending on which region you're traveling in in Germany. Of course, it would be too easy for it to be the same everywhere. Don't forget to stamp your ticket, otherwise it's not valid. There are different types of tickets depending on the zone, the number of people and the stops you're travelling to. For example, the short trip ticket which is valid for three train stops or six train buses over the <laughs> There's so many different options. Easy! What types of transport there are also varies. In Berlin, we're spoiled for choice. But if you're living in rural Germany, then you might only have access to one bus line a day. By the way, public transport was invented in the US around 200 years ago. So-called trams ran through New York, but they were driven by horses. The first electric tram was invented in Germany in 1881. At that time, there was already a subway system in London, which was a traditional steam locomotive. Most people I know in Berlin don't have a car because it's so easy to travel by train, tram or bus. Plus, if you're driving, you often get stuck in traffic, there are never enough parking spaces and, let's be honest, it's not great for the environment. Public transport is also the greenest way of moving along, besides your bike. Even buses are now being converted to electric. Emissions from the transportation sector have been growing over the past 30 years compared to other sectors, mainly by the usage of cars. Because of the climate crisis, attention is increasing and accessible transport solutions are emerging. It's no excuse to use public transportation in Berlin. You can use it everywhere, every time. This is Stefan Karsten, futurologist. So how important is public transport for a German culture then? Well, first of all, we are a car nation, you know? And so public transportation is, is trying hard and is fighting with full extent <laughs> to get more important. And people nowadays understand that public transportation is inclusive, it's social and it's sustainable. The idea of the European city is um, to be around in public space, yeah, and not parking your private car here for 23 hours. Sure. The city is about sitting in cafes and restaurants and talk to each other and debate the, the great discourses of our times. And public transportation is the enabler for this. So is that maybe what we can expect to see in the future then, this kind of introduction of different types and modes of transport. People are now trying to integrate new modes of transport into what is public transportation. If you, if you take this scooter here, for example, this is part of public transportation today. This is something that is happening right now. I'm very optimistic about the future of public transportation because it gets more modern. Okay, now you know the basics about public transport in Germany, let's take it up a notch. These words will help you navigate transport in Germany. Schienenersatzverkehr, rail replacement service. You'll hear this pretty often in Germany, every time a train is broken or is being replaced by buses. Öffis, short for öffentlicher Nahverkehr, local public transport. Kind of cute, right? Plus, it's much easier to say. Now it's time to meet the professionals, those who keep the whole bustling system moving. I'm meeting Cinqueta Shirley Jones, who drives trains in Berlin, and she loves it. 
Das erste Mal in den Tunnel reinfahren war eine ganz tolle Erfahrung in dieses Dunkle, überall ein paar Lichter, die Signale, die Geräusche von den Zügen. Also ist schon ein tolles Gefühl, auf dem Bock dort zu sitzen. Und dann mit 70, sagen wir mal, ist bei uns die Höchstgeschwindigkeit, da durch den Tunnel zu fahren. Teilweise ist es schon sehr angenehm. Es ist sehr Macht toll. Macht schon Spaß. Ja. Aber gibt es auch dann Stress mit dem Job? Das Nervigste ist, wenn die Fahrgäste die Türen aufhalten. Also wenn es das heißt, zurückbleiben bitte, heißt es auch, zurückbleiben bitte, nicht nur einsteigen. Wir machen es ja nicht, um die Fahrgäste zu ärgern, wenn jemand zum Beispiel angerannt kommt und schließen die Türen. Es geht darum, wir haben ja Fahrzeiten einzuhalten und wir fahren bis am Endbahnhof vielleicht auch mal auf die Toilette. Und ähm, das sind dann die Minuten, die uns dann fehlen. Wartest du dann manchmal auf manche Gäste? Das kommt immer darauf an. Wir haben ja Fahrzeiten, also wenn ich pünktlich bin, warte ich auch. Ähm, aber in einem Vier-Minuten-Takt muss ich ehrlich sagen, meistens ist, ist man nicht pünktlich und äh, kann man leider nicht warten. There you have it, public transport in Germany. It certainly makes my life here in Berlin more convenient and more connected. And it's nice to see how it brings everyone else here together too. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below about what public transport is like in your country.